Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody today I'll be breaking down how I defend people that run gun bunch offset on me Hey, sorry for uh, interrupting already at this point. I forgot to mention I'm teaming up teaming up with mr. Humble. He is someone who has commented on my YouTube videos He's inviting me to one of his Madden competitive group chats over at Facebook link to that is in the description it has about 7.5 thousand I think 7.5 thousand uh, members, competitive man players, people who are interested in competitive man, who want to play competitive games against good people. If you want to improve your game, it's the number one spot you have to get. Uh, just uh, go over there, say hi, ask to join the group, play some games against people, lab with people, improve your game. Iron sharpens iron. Make sure to get over there and join. I'm a, I'm joined. Uh, you can play me if you want to. Just send me a message. I'm gonna be pinned. So make sure to connect with me and also Mr. Humble and all the other guys that are on there and make sure to play some games because it's great competition. You guys should really try it if you want to get better. And yeah, that's something that I forgot to mention and I'm very sorry. And now let's continue on with the video. And this is very difficult. A lot of people really know what they're doing. And I kind of want to give you the idea of what I do to stop people who are kind of, who are worse than me, but who are run, who are running on my trial set. I can pretty much dominate those guys because I have defense to stop them. Uh, to shut down like the main place but it's it's, it's like with every scheme it's hi uh, the higher you get up there in level and if you're kind of equal with your with an opponent and he knows how to adjust then it's going to be a little bit difficult i struggle a whole lot again but against kanban traps against people who are kind of on the same level as me it's really tough to stop but people who are worse than me i know the setups to beat the main place and if they get adjusted with it then of course it's going to be more difficult now this it's gonna be out of a very pass heavy defense nickel 55 normal this is not so good against people who run it with the 212 package who's so having a running back or a tight end at wide receiver which would allow them to audible down to running formations this is only against people who run it with three wide receivers and i'm gonna show you how to break, uh, how to stop this now before getting into it though please make sure to hit the subscribe button also like the video if you enjoy it now let's talk about the defense. I'm currently in the 46 defense. Yesterday I uploaded how to use a blitz out of that same playbook. It is nickel 35 wide. Mac blitz 3 if you want to watch it. I'm going to put it up there in the card above. But the thing is that you can audible in between 335 and 35 uh, wide. Very, very nice. I'm going to come out in Tampa 2 and this is going to be the main thing. We want to make sure we have the players in the right spots. We never want to have safeties in there at safety pretty much. Now that sounds stupid. But against someone like uh, against the pass heavy guy, you really do not need guys back there that are, that can hit. You only need guys out there who can cover. So I like two cornerbacks right there. Right there. Personally, I really like guys with acrobat, but you can do whatever you want. Just make sure they're good in coverage, very fast, very good zone coverage. Those are the kinds of guys you want. Uh, at linebacker, you want to have safeties. Now, the thing with safeties is it's that they are way faster, and they also can play the run. Someone like Jamal Adams or someone like Taylor Mace, they're amazing in the run game because they are very big hitters, they are big guys, uh, paws, and they really know how to hit people. And that's what we need. We need people who are fast and who can hit. At the D-line, we want a defensive end right here. I personally like Aaron Donald. He has power rusher. I don't, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, you can get inside stuff on him for very cheap very low a ap definitely worth it get inside stuff right there and on the outsides have two good fast pass rushing linebackers someone like at the beginning of the year was doomerville or something like that very good pass rushes that's what we want right there and then we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it and we're gonna call it tampa two on offense i'm gonna come in and got much offset very important i'm showing you how to defend gun bunch offset in this video if you want to defend regular bunch there's some more things you have to count for I'll we'll talk about that in the next video. Double post, it uh, shall be. Now, the good thing about Tampa 2 is that it's not really going to get beaten by anything. Um, there, of course, are some plays that are going to beat Tampa 2, but it's not really going to get beaten over the top. Cover 3 is very easy to beat for one play touchdowns, so that's what you want to kind of avoid. Just some, just a nice little heads up right there. Um, now, I want to show you guys the... Uh, there you go. Uh, most popular setup for... A uh, double post is this one right here. It's so simple to run pretty much everyone who run gun, who runs bunch knows this and It's a headache to deal with uh, A lot of reads out there that really make it tough for you to defend everything I'm going to show you how this play uh, how, 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 how to run this play 
um, right here. Um, so I'm just going to read it. And now you can see that a lot of things open. The running back was open. The drag was open. The post was going to be open along the, uh, across the middle. So it, there's just a whole lot to defend. Now, how do you maximize your players' potential? Because that's what what's only, that's the only thing you can do. Sometimes there's just going to be people open. You just have to make sure to put yourself in the best position to not allow that now. I'm going to switch to defensive control right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is want to press. By pressing, we put our cornerbacks at the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to man up Gilmore on the slot receiver. So triangle twice, L1, right stick up, and click R1. Now we have him manned up. Second thing is we want to put this guy right here. I have Fre Fred Warner right here. Usually I want a safety there, but uh, the 49ers don't have that many great safeties. We're going to put this guy in a curl flat. Make sure your our curl flats are on zone drops 25. That's what we want. And this guy right here, Trick with Guitar, we're going to man him up on the circle guy. Usually I don't click around on these linebackers. I just uh, uh, click the deep pad to the right twice. Then I can bring up the linebacker menu and then I'm pretty fast with it now. I'm going to blitz my users, the final thing, and slant outside. Now, my responsibility against people running double post is to rush the running back. So I'm going to snap this ball right here and I'm going to cover the running back. Right there you saw how across the middle the man uh, coverage got beaten by the post. This post is so tough to stop because it beats main coverage. But there is something you can do to account for it. So I'm going to set it up again. And if you have time, move this guy out a little bit. Move him out. And now you will see if I uh, snap this play. Now you will see how we're going to do a better job covering him. All right. Just have to make sure to stay on the running back. Now you see how we can cover it a little bit better. Now this is my base coverage against people who run this play on me. It's really easy to stop it. Um, if you want to make it even better, you can uh, shade your coverage inside. That's another thing you can do. Triangle, right stick to left. But this is my main coverage. Now, you might ask yourself, um, why do I have the curl flat out there? For multiple reasons. And I actually haven't put it on 25 yards, so I'll do that real quick. And this is kind of like my base cover 2. I want to show you some things you can do out of cover 3, but this will be the next play. I just want to finish up my thought on this cover two setup. So one more time, I'm going to come out in double post because that's what we like. Double post right there. Now we're going to make the same adjustments. Move them over a bit, press, change sides, slant outside. Okay. Now let's run this. And you will see how this X gets covered. One of the things that this uh, Tampa 2 is very vulnerable against is if I don't have that um, guy out there in a go flat. If I run this setup just like this, make sure to not get a scream that. Now you see how he gets open right there in the window. That would be covered by the curl flat, so that's why I want the curl flat out there for this play. But there are also some other plays where you want to have curl flat out there. Now it gets interesting. There are some very difficult plays uh, to cover. Out of this one thing is something very annoying so i want to make sure yes i have michael thomas out there um michael thomas is going to run the route properly so that's just what i had to make sure z post and go as he's spot and go my bad um if you smart route thomas he is a pain in the ass to cover um i'll just show you guys this how he gets open even if i put this guy right here in the curl flat and he's at 25 yards so i'll just run the play on offense right here just try to not get shedded. And now you see how he gets open. This is one of the toughest throws to cover in Madden 21. No doubt about it. Especially if your opponent mixes it up nicely with the other plays. So, one more time. Now I'm going to man him up right there. Boom. Do that. Do that. Do man him, up, man him up on the post. On the hypothetical post. And then we're going to uh, run a setup like this. This is one of the most popular setups. So I'm going to snap the ball. And now you see how we can kind of take care of that. It is important, and I want to say this to you guys uh, right in the camera. Invest in one guy, your best cornerback, to have one step ahead. You want to have him in the slot position against Gunman Trafstead. So you can make sure, if you need to cover this corner out, that you can. Stefan Gilmore, probably the best guy in coverage. Um, not probably, actually. He might be the best coverage, man in coverage in regs. And... Yeah, he's pretty much the only guy that, that I know can defend that 100% of the time. 
it's just so, so difficult. Right there, you see he gets beat. He gets beat, he caught up, but this route, it has such a quick break that it just... How do I say it? You really need specific coverage adjustments because right there, you saw how he got beat. I'm going to uh, shade outside now and try to make sure that doesn't happen again. So I'm going to shade outside and now we'll see if it works because there's also some randomness to this uh, to these routes so we're gonna snap the ball and we can still see how he gets outside of us he gets outside and this is what's so annoying sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and that's just something that you have to fight with at the end of the day though that's all you can really do just fight maybe i can do it with an individual adjustment is it gonna work No, he still gets beaten to the outside. All right. Bad throw by me, but obviously you saw, you saw how he had a step. So this is kind of the next area where we have to get, where we have to be a little bit smart. So now we're going to make a whole lot of adjustments. And I know you guys is going to look like insanity because it's so much you have to adjust. Just bear with me. I'm going to show you the coverage right here in a moment and then it'll all make sense. All right. We have double Mabels out here. Now the thing is, and I'm, one of the things that's most annoying is if I run this just like that, you will see how this uh, streak gets open. So we have to be very careful with the way we adjust it. For example, if I had adjusted it a different way, oh my bad, that is bad. Wrong controller. If I had adjusted it a different way. like that same shell but now you're gonna see how we're gonna have no chance at covering uh, the cover three beaters so I'm gonna just max protect whatever all right just make sure I don't have everything adjusted properly now you will see how oh my god they just bumped into him for an eternity yeah that was that was really RNG I, I, want, I want to do that again because there's no way that this con this consistently works like no way All right, gotcha. So we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way to make sure we don't have anyone bumping him. All right, gonna max protect, just like that. Now you will see how we're gonna get a step. And you see that this is a cover three beater, so I have to be very careful and have to make sure that the inside third is coming from the safety that is on the bunch side. So you want to put both your outside guys in deep thirds. You want to put this guy right here in a curl flat. This guy right here in an inside third. Go into practice mode and practice this because otherwise you won't be able to get it down. This lock cornerback, put him in a curl flat. This guy right here in a hard flat. This guy right here in a hard flat. Now you have it. If you're really fast, oh, my bad. This is how you, ah, oh, fuck me. I just screwed it up. All right, so never mind. I'll try it again. It, it's really just about uh, practicing and getting it down. Yeah, now I got it. So, one thing that I recommend you guys to do is invert it at the start of every game. Put those guys out there in deep pass, which is uh, right on the right stick. Put them in deep pass. Now you don't give up a touchdown. So, and let's say they go for it. So, boom. So they're going to snap the ball. And it's not going to be there. They're going to be scared to go back to that the rest of the game. So, just make sure to not give up quick one play touchdowns against this. If you run cover three. Of course, if you want to run the main setup. Which is still fine. Then you're not going to have to worry about it at all. But you see how he gets outside of him. And now... We can make that throw. Now, obviously, it wasn't smart route about there, but if, but had he been smart route, that would have been an easy throw. Actually, I don't want to just say it. I want to show you. So I'm gonna smart route him. This is set up once again. Now you see how we can get outside. Gilmore is even activated. Gilmore is activated. He still can't cover him. That's how crazy this route is. So to cover that, we want to go to our. Bye guys, 
we want to go to our absolute lock up coverage so now i'm gonna try this the same thing and it's not really gonna be there you see how we throw that and it's a pick so this is where you kind of have to be smart just these are the ways to beat the two most popular plays it's double post and it's this play if your opponent starts to run a little bit of mesh post then it gets complicated this is one of the things that i'll break down in the next video which i kind of excuse me in which i'm kind of going to show you how to stop everything out of uh, against scum bunch with the 212 set have great pass coverage out there but also be prepared in case they want to run the football with iphone close or something like that this is going to be the absolute try hard defense it's obviously gonna be a hell to stop i'm not gonna say i'm gonna, gonna give you the whole key just kind of the things that i've been running in that that have had kind of success against people or kind of success with against people who know what they're doing on offense and i want to share this with you guys make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that and yeah this video is already way too long it's 15 minutes i didn't want it to be this long sorry you guys there's just a lot to break down next coming next upcoming videos obviously gonna be against come bunch also gonna show you how to come much offset i mean i'm also gonna do an individual video against a gun bunch say out of seattle playbook or some of the more popular ones are also atlanta or washington which skimbo is running right now he's streaming so there are a lot of different bunches out there i want to show you how to kind of like get the main idea of how to stopping it but it's still gonna be a pain in the ass i'm not gonna say I'm, i have the whole key how to stop it just make sure to watch the videos if you're struggling against it. Maybe have some ideas that you can try out if you haven't tried them out yet. Until then, this was a very long outro. I appreciate you for, uh, guys for sticking it all the way through. That was a weird phrasing. Anyways, I'm out, guys. Appreciate the time. Subscribe. Until the next video.